Arc Aberration is less than three weeks away. Welcome back guys to a brand new video. Now today we are going to be talking about the release of Arc Aberration and we're going to be reading through Screen Rant's new post about Arc Survival Ascendant Aberration bringing back one of its weirdest mechanics yet. Also, I've got something to talk about um, because, I mean, I never believe these types of things, but pretty much I've been getting a comment in my comment section for a couple of days now, and I'm sure the person who has been posting this will be watching this video. And if you want to contact me on Twitter for more information on this, feel free to do so. It's just at Loaded Crisis about potentially having an inside source. Now, if you do enjoy today's video, as always, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and uh, let's dive into today's news. So before we kick off into the aberration stuff, I wanted to talk about this comment because Zach, I've seen it and I've seen it constantly getting liked. It's getting most, it's getting qu quite a few likes in the comment section. I saw it in my other video and I don't, I don't ever tend to believe this stuff, right? Because anyone can say whatever they want. But, um, and a lot of this stuff that Zach actually said is things that I've known, but so I don't know if it's actually a true thing. But Zach, as I said, go follow me on Twitter, drop me a DM, and then we could see if this stuff is true. But anyway, so Zach goes on to say, so I have an inside source. The canon maps are being worked on in-house, which is what we knew, right? Because we know that, um, you know, the, the main DLC maps are being worked on by Wildcard, with a bunch of small teams working independently. That's why Scorch took so long. As a map enters and stabilizes, the team is broken up and put on new assignments, which is why after the Scorch update, we had a slew of bug fixes across all maps. Obviously, we know that always happens. When Genesis releases, this is the bit I didn't understand. He goes, when Genesis releases, the team will be split up to help Extinction and start Genesis Part 1. So that bit didn't actually make sense. I mean, unless you mean when Aberration releases, um, the team will be split to help Extinction and start Genesis Part 1. I've heard some of the solutions for part missions, but had uh, had no idea, um, but no idea has been set yet. Non-canon maps are being worked on by third-party sources, which we knew which happened with the center, and have to be tested by, let's say, th then a thorough check which leads to an issue like the missing ocean floor on some parts of the map and excess amounts of meshing. Someone responded saying, do they have a name for the devs of the non-canon maps or is that under NDA? And Zach said, I don't know, I never asked that. Plus, I wouldn't want that information leaked anyway. Any criticism for these contractors should only come from Wildcard as we should criticize Wildcard for over-promising over and bad management. So, um, I, I mean, I'd like to know, obviously, the inside source, but... You know, I don't want to get Zach into any trouble if this is true. I mean, I knew a lot of this stuff kind of already, but, you know, it, it would be interesting to know more. It, it's classic. It's the way things are, are going right now is Wildcard need to get the maps out and they're going to and they're working with third parties because they can't get it out fast enough. That's pretty much it. But anyway, moving on to the main part of the video, which is what a lot of people are excited about, which is Ark Survival Ascended Aberration brings back one of the weirdest of, well, brings back one of its weirdest mechanics. So Ark Survival Ascended has finally added the, wait, what? Has finally added the Aberration DLC. Who said this at Scream Round? Richard, it's not out yet. <laughs> it's coming out on the 4th of September, which returns an, um, which returns an awesome but weird mechanic. Um, Ascended has one had um, has had one roller coaster of an existence, though it fulfills its goal of being an upgraded version of Evolved. It has a myriad of issues. The most major is the high requirements needed to run the game, which excludes many potential users. Other include questionable microtransaction features and crossovers with missed opportunities that have made the upgrade feel like a cash grab to buy time for the sequel. Ark Survival Ascended's Aberration map takes place on a damaged arc due to massive amounts of radiation, forces all life underground, and all this life has been made um, extremely mutated and highly dangerous to players. Due to the harsh environment, players need to have proper gear to survive the radiation and scale the hazardous terrain, um, and this DLC provided a unique challenge to the franchise while also being one of its first steps towards embracing its sci-fi features. Um, Ark Survival Ascended's Reaper and its weird taming mechanic. Um, so the Reaper is one of the new creatures from Aberration, and despite how amazing it is, it also comes with a weird mechanic. 
The Reaper is one of the strongest battle mounts in the game, and this is due to its strong armor, high damage, and good mobility. Though they are not the easiest to tame, their strength um, more than makes up for this lack of quantity. However, the process of acquiring Reapers is what causes the odd reception. So to get a tamed Reaper, players must be impregnated by a, queen, a Reaper Queen and give birth to a baby Reaper that can be imprinted on. This process was inspired by the Alien franchise, which the Reapers are loosely inspired by. This has been brought up with how eager some get for this mechanic and how detailed the process is. The only thing that can be compared to it is the breeding process for the Sky Giga, which is similar but done on another dinosaur rather than the player. Overall, this process isn't overly graphic or revealing, so the bulk of the argument is between the fans. In this regard, it likely speaks more towards how creative the development team is for making a unique process like this along with finding the perfect balance so it's not pushed too far, but it is still a process detailed enough to be remembered. How to tame a Reaper in Ark Survival Ascended, earning the power. Taming a Reaper in Ascended is a process that requires patience, but can be done quite efficiently once mastered. The first step is to find a Reaper Queen while wearing a hazard suit to survive the intense radiation. To begin the breeding process, players will have to weaken the Reaper to the brink of death where it starts glowing red. The best way to do this is by trapping it, which can be done in many ways, and hitting them with a charge light to debuff it. Once the Reaper Queen is glowing red, it will pick up the player with its tail and stab it. This will inject the future Reaper offspring into the target before the Reaper Queen burrows into the ground and it despawns. The baby Reaper will take 12 hours to birth, and during that time it will absorb half of the experience earned by the host. This will determine how strong the Reaper is at birth, and it is important not to die or take any radiation damage while pregnant as it has a chance to kill the Reaper. Once the baby is ready to be born, players need to consume a Reaper Queen's gland so the baby will acknowledge them. After birth, the process is the same as most baby tames, keeping it healthy and feeding it till it's fully tamed. For this part, it is best to keep it in, in, a close, in, in an enclosed room for its safety and safety of other dinosaurs. Once tamed, it is simply a matter of leveling um, the Reaper like any other tame until it has become the mighty Reaper King and one of the best dinosaurs, well I'd say creatures in Ark Survival Ascended. Overall, despite the weirdness, the process of acquiring Reapers is one of the most novel experiences in Ark. The controversy comes from the eagerness of fans, so it's not so exactly a situation the studio can intervene in. Thus, the addition of Reapers in Ark Survival Ascended will be a weird addition for some and amazing for others. So yeah, um, one one of the teams I refused to tame. Uh, that's uh, that's an interesting one. I thought the um, the the Reapers were one of the like coolest additions into Ark, but yeah, I really really can't wait to see this now, guys. Like I'm just at this point with uh, with Ascended where. Um, I think I got so after I stopped stopped playing a lot of Hell Divers, I dove back into the world of Ark, and it's been rocky but um, fun, and played with a few friends, um, and really been enjoying it. But I am at that stage right now where I'm sort of slipping onto the few other games at the moment as I wait for the launch of Aberration. Really looking forward to getting onto it on day one. As I said, it's less than three weeks away. Can't wait to see one of these guys, the Yeeling. It's still getting quite a lot of hate. Um, because people see uh, obviously have been believing that they don't want the ye they didn't want the yeeling in the first place i remember when it won the creature vote it wasn't actually the most popular one i think it will be cool but again some people are saying it's just like an rg mixed in with, with other creatures so maybe it's not going to be as unique but it'll be interesting to see what it's like when it can uh, launch volleys of barb feathers at different uh, creatures in the game which will be fun um so yeah this will be joining us on september 4th guys um, i'm gonna be doing so much content on the build up to aberration i'm also going to be doing a comparison video of the arc survival evolved aberration to what it looks like now in so like kind of a so you guys can know what they look uh, the difference of what it looks like um i may do you know what i was thinking about this the other day and i may even start an episode one of aberration ascended i haven't done an episode one in so long just because i haven't really um sort of wanted to create that type of gameplay content i like doing more spotlights and news videos but maybe i'll do that we'll see what we'll see what you guys want if you guys want it i'll do it and that's uh that's what we're looking at at the moment so let me know that in the comment section down below
Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you're most excited for with Aberration launching on September 4th. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you for my next video very soon. See you guys then.